Okay, so I want to talk about how to create a B spline at the intersection of a cylinder and a plane. So this is the cylinder that we're looking at, and we're going to create an intersection with this green plane shown here. So the first thing that I'll have to do is actually extend the cylinder because, as you can see, um, graphically the cylinder only extends between the highest and the lowest points measured to create the cylinder. So we just need to extend it graphically a little bit so that it will intersect with the plane. So first of all, I'm just going to find the cylinder here in the tree on the left hand side. I can double click on it and then just under length, I'm just going to bump that number up. It just automatically bumps up in intervals of three. So now you can see the cylinder was extended so I can close that. And then next I need to create a surface from this cylinder so that we can project the plane to that surface. So I just right click on the cylinder in the graphical area there and go to make surface from object and you can see that when I did that it actually hid the cylinder but it still exists here in the tree and then the surface showed up here under my surfaces category so now I've got a cylinder which is shown wireframe just to help you see everything better and a plane which is going to intersect that now the plane is um, infinite bounded as well so even though it only shows up in a small area that plane extends infinitely in all directions so the next thing I'm going to use do is use a command called construct B spline intersection plane and surface so I'll select the plane and then select the surface now I can name the B spline here we'll just leave it um, at that and the tolerance for the intersection I'm going to leave it at um, one tenth as well and you can see that it created this pink shaded B spline there so if I hide that surface then I've got the B spline which is the projected intersection between the cylinder and the plane now having a B spline there is useful but you might also find it necessary to actually lay out some points at that intersection so I'll continue with one more step and just show you how to lay out some points along that B spline. It's really simple. Just go to Construct Points Layout on Curves. Uh, and you can do it three different ways. You can just lay them out where you click on there. You can do spaced at a specific distance or in points that will be equally spaced. We'll just do uh, equally spaced points. Select the B spline and hit Enter. The group of points will go into a group called B spline points. Um, you can prefix the name just for reference I'll prefix it with a B and then the point name will have a B in front of it and it'll ask you how many points do you want to lay out uh, let's for fun let's do 50 and then I hit OK there and you can see those points were laid out exactly at that intersection of the cylinder and the plane